Isn't it cool? This is Ultra Prototype, a real race car. Let's have a look. It has the oversized front lip, U-shaped canard on both sides, and two huge heat dissipation holes on the front cover. As you can see, it's quite stunning. And we also have the open wheel arches on the sides. Side skirts of very large size. And very exaggerated diffuser at the tail and oversized spoiler. As you can see, and we also have has the symbol on the sidecar. I designed it by myself. If you like it, you can give me a warm applause. So for the Ultra prototype, how powerful is it? Let's have a look about its performance. First of all, it has the peak performance. How powerful it is? Well, it's equipped with the Super V8S motor. Well, this is the self-innovated motor by Xiaomi, and this is the first time that V8S has been on board. The power of the one motor is as high as uh, 578p, and as you can see, that it is equivalent to the power of a large V8 engine. is a uh, fully self-innovated. And within this ultra prototype, and we have three super motors, two V8S and one V6S. And what about the horsepower is up to 1,548 PS. It has surpassed many supercars. It surpassed those supercars, not even mentioned comparable. And second, it has been used the current second high power battery pack for the track, which can output 1,330 kilowatts of ultra high power. And the peak voltage reached almost 900 volts, and the charging rate reaches 5.2 C. You may also pay great attention about its braking system. Well, it has the AP Racing braking. Well, AP Racing is a very famous brand has been responsible for the high performance braking. And this time we have been using this fixed caliper made by AC Racing. And uh, we also have uh, the racing brake disc and the brake pass for tracks. The maximum temperature can exceed 800 degrees. As you know that it's really high temperature it may be around 1,000 degrees. And since we are EV, one of the advantages of EV is that we can recycle the power. Well, we can provide a maximum uh, deceleration of 0.6 G. And if we consider all together, it can provide a deceleration of over 2.36 grams. Well, if it's over 2.2, it means that a heartbreak feels like hitting a wall. So we need professional drivers to drive the race cars. So to change indicator, reduce from 100 kilometers to zero, it will only takes 25 min meters. So this prototype is definitely the most powerful four-doored cars today. Not one. It's the most powerful one. So what about is a straight line performance? To compete on a straight line, what about the results? From zero to 100 kilometers, 
Well, the acceleration time is 1.97 seconds per hour. While from 0 to 200 kilometers, the time is 5.96 seconds per hour. And highest speed can be over 350 kilometers per hour. For those parameters, it can be considered as the fastest four-door vehicles among all the EVs and fuel cars. Well, when racing within the track, it has many requirements. Apart from the straight line performance, well, it has achieved extreme light weight. If the car is too heavy, it will also be very difficult on the racing track. It also adopts full carbon design. And this full carbon design is much stronger than the full carbon design on a football display. So carbon fiber is the best lightweight material. It, also, it is also very strong, but it is very expensive. However, we used the uh, full carbon design without counting our costs. You see the front Lift, the front bumper, the fender, the side skirt, the body side, the doors, rear bumper, diffuser, spoiler, roof, front and rear bonnets, all are carbon fibers. And 100% of the body coverings are carbon fiber. Moreover, even the motor upper plating is carbon fiber. The air hood is also carbon fiber. This is incredible and uh, stunning. In total, 24 places, which covers an area of 15 square meters, are carbon fiber. So in one word, it is excellent. If we want to put it in another way, it means expensive. It also means we are rich. So my colleague asked me, uh, can he buy an SU7 Ultra prototype? And I said, even I cannot afford one Ultra prototype. So let's work on uh, let's work on improving this car because prototype vehicle is for the purpose of R&D with so many carbon fiber plus other improvements. We have uh, reduced the entire weight by over 500 kilos compared with a fuel power vehicle of the same size is even lighter. You can see our competitors. They are, they are at 1,960 kilo, uh, kilogram, but we are only 1,900 kilogram. For racing car, there is also the requirement of aerodynamics. During the launch event of SU7, you heard the term drag coefficient. So the raindrop has the lowest drag coefficient. We want to improve the drag coefficient because we want to improve the range. But for racing cars, it's all about downfalls. So for racing cars, aerodynamics means downfalls, not drag coefficient. What have we done to improve the aerodynamics on the car? Just name a few. The fixed racing spoiler can give you an addition 735 kilo uh, downforce. The diffuser can give you 245 kilo downforce. The open wheel arc can give you 153 kilo downforce. The front bumper canard can give you 30.6 kilo downforce. In total, they can give you 2,145 kilogram downforce. That means the downforce is even heavier than the weight of the car. That means, in theory, at extreme speed, you are able to drive this car on the ceiling. So you see, this is, downforce is incredible. You see the monstrous in indicators. I won't go through all of them. In order to run at the northern loop of uh, Newburgh Ring, in order to challenge our competitors, we are fully prepared. Our team has been working at uh, uh, Newburgh Ring for a month. Today, we officially announced that in early October, we are going to challenge the northern loop at Newburgh Ring.